What's up you guys, thank you for clicking on this video, so as you can tell by the title, another topical discussion video that I'm sure some people are going to be like, why are you talking about this? Well, it's because a lot of people in the Transformers community have been talking about this for a few days, so um, the Titan class price being 160 now is obviously a great thing, I'm not downing that at all, I've even said this in the last couple of recent videos since that news broke a few days ago that I think this is great. But, you know, there's a couple things to consider here in terms of us getting a smaller Titan going forward. Now, I just want to throw this out there. Now, we don't know if this is going to be the permanent price point for the next, I don't know, four, five, six years or whatever. Maybe this is just a one-off price point here for Star Convoy because he's more of like a specialty Titan. He's not really the big, you know, Titan class figures that we've always gotten like Scorponok or Fortress Maximus or something. But... The thing that kind of baffles me a little bit is if this is the price point going forward, 160, how are we going to handle some of those bigger characters that should be Titan class sized, like Scorponok or Fortress Maximus? Uh, all these Gigantian characters from Unicron Trilogy, uh, a Metroplex redo at some point. I know that's going to happen. We haven't gotten a new Metroplex in over 10 years now. It's been almost 12 years since the original. So that's got to be coming at some point soon, right? It really makes me question if a lot of these characters are going to be HasLab only going forward. If the price really does stay at 160 and because of that we're going to be getting smaller Titans going forward. Now, the whole smaller Titan thing is a bit confusing because Star Convoy is still really huge and he still comes with a crap ton of blast effects. It's like 12 or 14. He has the Hot Rod minifigure, the mini truck that can store Hot Rod, a bunch of guns. So, it's it's a bit tricky to look at, to me at least, that, um, I, I don't know, maybe with us getting this cheaper price point, it's a thing of there's no going back at this point, at least for a few years. And, you know, we just have to deal with it. But a part of me is also like, what if we just kept the $200 price point with this Star Convoy and they just decked him out to make it worth the $200 instead of making it $40 cheaper and this potentially being the price point and the size of Titan Class going forward for the next however many years. Um, that's something that, I don't know, we're just going to have to wait and see, but if it is permanent, I kind of wish they would have just decked out Star Convoy and kept it at 200, because there's so many characters that need to be redone as Titan Class at the $200 price point and at the size that we've been seeing with Titan Class since the beginning in 2013, that I don't know if it's worth the sacrifice on these characters being HasLab releases or just being smaller, more compromised Titans than what they would have been before at the $200 price. It's it's kind of tricky to discuss to me because it, it's a give and take situation. Now again, I don't mind the price change. I think it's great. It works. But there are a few things to consider here that I've mentioned in this video that's a bit iffy to me on the future of Titan class and handling those bigger figures and characters that a lot of these are just going to be designated to HasLab probably. You know, here's your $200 HasLab for uh, uh, Cybertron 2005 Menasaur. Or here's a two $300 HasLab for a new G1 Metroplex. So I don't know how this is going to work for the future. Hopefully it's for the best, you know. Maybe this is a one-off thing and it goes back to $200 in 2026 or they just find a good way to work around getting some of those taller characters out um, while still handling the 160 price tag or doing them as maybe made to order. I've been talking about this the last couple of videos. They could do some of those bigger characters that wouldn't really work at retail and wouldn't really work at the already designated size classes. They could do made to order releases. That would be really nice to experiment with Transformers. They've been doing it with Marvel Legends recently, so that would be cool to see. Because um, I, I feel like we're being a little shortchanged here on certain characters. If it goes the way it could go, with them either being cheapened more to keep the 160 price, 
or being designated to HasLab and people not being able to get them at the time or fund it and it just being a short run figure due to it being a HasLab, which would really suck. You know, we saw that happen with RAD 2001 Omega Prime. It's great that we have the release, but so many people out there who want it can't get it because they couldn't fund it at the time and they don't want to pay, you know, aftermarket prices when the figure comes out next year. And it's just, it, it kind of sucks when you think about HasLabs that way. But um, yeah, guys, I just wanted to talk about this for a little bit and kind of uh, throw out there some of the scenarios that could happen with Titan Class being 160 for the Star Convoy release next year. Again, I'm not bashing the figure. I'm not bashing the price point. It's just a couple scenarios to think about that may be positive or negative on the impact and future of the Titan Class price point on how they handle some of these characters going forward. But um, yeah, guys, let me know. Let me know down in the comments below. What do y'all think is going to happen with the Titan Class price point? Do you think it's going to stay the same or do you think it's it's going to change. All my social medias are linked down below, including my email. If you guys want to hit me about business inquiries, if you want to message me about whatever, or if you want to commission a diorama from me because I make dioramas for people for their stop motions, photography, or irregular display shelves in your homes, you can either hit me up on any of my social media accounts or just email me and we can work out a deal. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. Catch y'all in the next one. Bye.